this video is long overdue but I swear you guys are not going to believe how much I saved during this semi-annual haul I probably saved the most that I ever have so let's get it started hey guys what's up it is your girl Lock Looney Tune and it is that time for the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul that I do twice a year. I do it in June, July, and I also do it in December, January. This time I think I bought mostly shower gels and fragrance sprays. I think I bought one lotion, but you guys will see what I got. And like I said before, I saved the most I ever have saved during um, the semi-annual sales. So first things first, let's get started with Pearberry. This is a shower gel that I bought before. Um, a lot of the fragrances I've bought before, but every time I go to Bath and Body Works, I always try to at least get one or two items new, things that I've never had before. But I usually go get things that I'm familiar with, fragrances that I always love, and you know you can't go wrong with. So Pearberry is one of those fragrances that I love. This one is in a regular size shower gel. This was, I think you know the regular price is $12.50 and most of these things were 75% off or 50% off. I don't know exactly until I go through the receipt. I'm going to let you guys know in the end. Alright, next is Cucumber Melon. This is definitely an OD and goodie. This is probably one of my favorite fragrances. Um, I, I like this fragrance. My husband really likes this fragrance because this is one of those fragrances that um, I think is sort of unisex. You know, they have men fragrances at Bath and Body Works, um, but this fragrance right here, Cucumber Melon, there's, you know, nothing wrong with a man smelling like this. I don't believe it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And my husband loves this scent. He loves, you know, the fruit. Um, and the melon and you know the cucumber and love. he loves that it's like therapeutic or aromatherapy for him so he really does like this I love it as well sensual amber sensual amber is something that I've always loved when I see this it reminds me of my other favorite fragrance which is cashmere glow which I thought they had discontinued I keep they keep saying they're discontinuing it or it's going out or leaving or something like that and then all of a sudden it pops up again and I always grab it when I see it but sensual amber is also another one that when I see it I try to grab it because I don't see it as often you know during the sales and things like that but it smells so good this is in the shower gel it's, it, it reminds me of a musk like you have the cashmere glow which is like a cashmere musk as well and the sensual the sensual amber smells like a musk smell too and it's, it's really really strong so I really love this scent the other fragrance that I got is sun ripened raspberry I don't think I've ever gotten this before I saw it and I was like well I do like raspberries and I um, I wanted to see you know I smelled it while I was in the store they have you know the little test sprays and the samples so you guys can um, smell things while you're in the store see if you like things I saw this, I liked it, and I said I'm going to pick this up in the shower gel because there's nothing wrong. I don't believe there's anything wrong with smelling like raspberries. That's just me. So, not only did I get this in the shower gel, but I also got it in the fragrance spray as well. So, I got, you know, these two sets. So, like I said, this is the fragrance spray for Sun Ripened Raspberry. And, um, those were all the, uh shower gels that I did get so we're gonna move into the fragrance sprays that I got like I said sun ripened raspberry um, another one I got was pink chiffon this was definitely something that I've gotten before um, I like the way this smells because it's not as strong it's sort of a light smell so like when I go to work or things like that and I don't want to smell too strong or I don't want you know give off this real pungent perfume smell pink chiffon is really light and really you know soft this is soft subtle smell which I really like this so um this is another fragrance spray endless weekend endless weekend the thing about endless weekend that I love more than the fragrance itself is the packaging of this bottle 
I love the fact that this bottle is, is just so festive. When you look at this Endless Weekend uh, packaging on this bottle, it has all these different little designs that go around the bottle. And you guys know I'm a graphic designer. I love design so much. I love being creative. I love art. And this packaging on this container is so eye-catching. I love it so much. So Endless Weekend is a really good fragrance as well, but the packaging is what always gets me every time I see it. French Lavender and Honey. This is also something that I've gotten before. Um, it smells very good. I love... This smells... Let's see if I can... Yeah, I love this smell. Because this is... It's not, it's, this is one of the strongest scents. It smells really good. Um, the thing about it is, you smell more lavender than anything, which I really like. I love lavender. Um, it's a really, really good smell. Very therapeutic, I think. And um, this packaging on this bottle is also very, very beautiful. Bath & Body Works has a way of doing their packaging that is very catching to the eye. It's, I mean, it's so eye-catching that, you know, you want to just run in there and just buy everything because everything looks so pretty. Before you even smell anything, you know, you look around and the way the store looks is so beautiful. You know, they always have things set up so nicely in there. So, you know, kudos to them for setting up, you know, doing their merchandising like this and setting up everything that looks so beautiful. The French French Lavender and Honey Body Cream, the Shea Ultra Shea Body Cream, what does it say? 24 Hour Moisture Body Cream. I also got that in the French Lavender and Honey. Um, I don't have as many body creams, but the ones that I do have, they get used very quickly. Actually, I think I have stopped buying so much of the lotions, and I've just graduated you know I stopped buying lotions and started going straight for the 24 hour body creams because they they tend I'm, I have very dry skin you know I mean not necessarily on my face on my face I have combination skin but I don't use these on my face I use these on my body and my body skin is very dry so these help immensely so these are great and the scent is just out of, out of this world. I love it. The next few things that I got are brand new things that I've never gotten before. I saw them and I said, you know what? I'm going to get these things. You know, these are the things that I just thought were so interesting to me. And I said, you know, I'm going to try them for the first time and see how it goes. This is not, I have one of these, just not in this particular color. This is a container. A holder for your body sprays. I thought these were so cute. This is how they look on the inside. And this is how it looks on the outside. It's actually beaded. I have another one of these that is sort of glittered and silver glittered and blinged out. This one looks like it has beads all the way around it. Little beaded rhinestones. And you put your body sprays in them when they sit on my dresser or on my nightstand or wherever I want to um, keep my body sprays looking really cute and things like that this is very stylish I think for anyone's vanity and stuff and um, this was $14.50 that's the um, regular price of it I do believe this was 50% off and so I think it was like seven six something six twenty five or something like that six six or seven dollars but um, I think these are very cute when you are trying to um, decorate your room have that you know whole room decor and you know just make things a little you know cute these are the creamy body washes I've never seen these before so if they aren't new to you they are definitely new to me I've never seen these before um, when I went in the store and I was just like oh my god what are those and I saw it it says creamy the moisturizers after one shower creamy body wash this one is in a thousand wishes and this one is in warm vanilla sugar now I don't know what these are like this the price on these were $14.50 $14.50 for each one and I think they were 75% off 50 to 75% off so I'm not sure this is interesting to me I just want to see what it's like and how they compare uh, to the shower gels so you know shower gels and then you got creamy body wash I want to see how they compare so I've never had these before so I guess the next the next haul I do I'm gonna let you guys know how these compare 
to regular shower gels. And if I can get some more, you know, at the next um, semi-annual sale, I will because they look cute. I like the packaging. They're pretty heavy. They have, you know, a good amount of product on the inside. So I'm really loving these. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Bath & Body Works is something that I've always wanted to go in there and get. But I never did. You know, it is the Forever Red. I love this color. It always pops out at me every time I walk into the store. Now, this is the mini fragrance spray. I wanted to start small because the Forever Red is quite pricey when you go in Bath & Body Works. They have this size um, fragrance mist. They also have the regular size one which is a whole lot, you know, taller than this one. And then they have body cream or something. But they also have the actual um, perfume which I think is about $30 and I'm not spending that on there and I didn't see that on sale but I did see these on sale so I wanted to get just a sample a small sample of what this fragrance is all about now the forever red I don't know it's a special it seems like it's a specialty item in Bath and Body Works and if you guys can see the packaging the packaging is really cute very nice to look at. There's only one problem I have with this packaging. One little small issue for me. I take the top off and it's really cute. It's that, you know, has the little spray bottle and everything. But this little bow, this thing is hard. Like this doesn't come off. It doesn't move. It doesn't swivel. It just stays put. So when I go to spray, I have to make sure that my sprayer is right on this side every time. Like it's not, I can't just turn it around because my finger will get in the way of this right here. So I won't, it'll, it just gets in the way. That's the only thing that I got to say about this. The fact that you can't take this off. It would be really cool, uh, Bath & Body Works, if we could take this particular part off or if it was attached to this particular top right here so if you lifted this up and the whole thing came off and this part the decoration was on the lid and this just had you know just this part right here it would be cool I think it would be really cool it would be you know not hard to spray and things like that but other than that the scent of it it smells good see cuz when I spray it most of the spray gets on the little on the little red on the little bow right there but um yeah it smells very good it's very classy I love the smell I love the scent um this was $16.50 that was the regular price I think it was this was definitely 50% off um and I paid like $8.25 for it uh and for this and it's pricey like I said for this little bottle by itself on a regular price on any average day to be $16.50 is quite expensive but it's not like the regular sprays you know it's it's kinda more high-end which you know is understandable so you know love it love forever red so that's it guys that is my semi-annual sale letting you guys know most of this most of the shower gels and the fragrance sprays they were 50% off or 75% off everything that I got was definitely on sale I did not go in there and buy anything that was regular price and the most expensive thing that I did buy was the forever red like I said it was it was 825 at the end of the day um but I'm going to put the receipt the cut of the receipt on how much I actually saved and when you see how much I spent and how much I saved I spent $47.83. That is how much I spent on all of those things. And my total saving, my total discount, as you guys can see on this receipt, is $147.88. I've never saved that much. That's almost $150. Almost $150 worth of product that I bought and I got it for $40 seven dollars and eighty three cent I was psyched when I walked out of there when I looked at that receipt and saw how much I saved I was like you better go girl get on your savings bandwagon I was loving it that was 
it for the Bath and Body Works, but I also I stopped at Victoria's Secret as well. You guys know I don't hardly ever go in Victoria's Secret for anything. You've never seen me do anything dealing with Victoria's Secret, but you guys know that they work together. Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, when they do their semi-annual sale, you know, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret do their semi-annual sales at the same time. I only went in there and got a couple things because, you know, none of those things was going to fit on my body. But I did go get something, you know, that I could use. I got this beautiful bag. I use this bag. This is look like a makeup bag. I, it's like a makeup try bag. It's a bag. It's three bags all together. So you got this big clear bag. You have this little tiny clutch bag and then you have this little bag right here you have this bag and this little bag inside of this bag which is the clear bag and how would you be using this for makeup and well right now I have changed in this one so I've already started using it so and the inside is like leopard print or cheetah print I'm thinking I'm thinking cheetah print the inside is cheetah print right now I have like change in there but this inside is like cheetah print on the inside of that one. And it's cheetah print on the inside of this one. And on the inside of this one, I have some lipsticks. I have some lipsticks on the inside of this one. A lot of NYX lipsticks. But I also got a couple of items from Victoria's Secret. I got some minty tint. Minty tint refreshing lip gloss. I thought this was really cute because it came with a little keychain attached to it. And Berry Mint. That's what this is called. It's in Berry Mint. It's called Minty Tint Lip Gloss in Berry Mint. And then I got Lip Plumper Bombshell Pink. I got that. These are two things that I've got. I don't think I got anything else. Might have got another lip gloss, but I don't know where it's at. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not a huge Victoria's Secret fan. I'm not a huge fan of them. But when I went in there, because I went to the mall and Victoria's Secret was right next door to Bath and Body Works, I was like, let me go in there. But this little bag for my makeup is perfect. Like these these three things right here, I'm, I thought this was cute. And the regular price of this was $40. The regular price was $40 and I got it for 50% off. So I got this bag. Um, for $20. These were $2.99 a piece. The regular price of this one was $12 and the regular price of the minty tint was $14. So anytime I can get a deal like that, that's a fraction of the cost. Yeah, because any on a regular day, you know your girl ain't paying $14, $12 for no lip gloss. Just ain't happening. That is it guys. I just want to say thank you guys for everything thank you for supporting me on my channel thank you for supporting these hauls i know this all is taking a long time to come but i've been trying to get things done because i have surgery tomorrow morning and um i'm going to be trying to vlog that to you guys so with that being said guys thank you so much for supporting and i will see you guys in the next video all right peace